Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 5.2. Now we're given VS as 2 volts and we're asked to find the closed loop gain RVO divided by VS as well as the current I indicated across the feedback resistor of 20 kilo ohms, right? So let's start by finding the closed loop gain which is uh, VO divided by VS. We're given the value of 2 volts, don't forget that. So, as you know by now, the voltage at that node or the voltage at that terminal is the same as the voltage at this terminal as well. So the terminal voltage is the same. Now that you only have a wire from this point to ground, we know that the voltage here is 0 volts, which means the voltage here as well is 0 volts. Now I can do nodal analysis at this point to actually link VS and VO. So let's do that quickly. We're going to do some uh, nodal analysis at this node, just to remind you. So you're going to have 0 subtract VS divided by 10K plus 0 subtract VO divided by 20K. And once again, there isn't any current associated with the terminal. You can check that in your textbook or anywhere else. So we only have these two currents. This is the same current. I just broke it up. The same current flows actually from here because there isn't any current here. I just broke it up uh, according to the node, which is 0 volts, right? So I'm going to have 0 subtract Vs divided by the resistor, which is in that path, as well as 0 subtract Vo divided by the resistor in that path. And that is exactly what I have. It's equal to 0. Multiplying through by 20k, you're going to have negative 2 vs negative vo is equal to zero taking this vo to this side of the equal sign we are going to have negative 2 vs is equal to vo now finding vo divided by vs that is your answer now moving on to find the current uh moving on to finding the current i which is indicated across this resistor value that is fine. We're given the value of this Vs, right? So there are quite a few ways you can find this I. One of them being just splitting this into 0, subtract Vo, divided by 20k. Or going all the way and say Vs, subtract Vo, divided by the sum of these. So let's just take it from this point, because it's the same current all the way through. So let's just take it from this point and say 0 subtract VO divided by 20k. So I is equal to 0 from there to there divided by 20k. So this is what we have. But we still have to find the value of VO. But previously, we said that VS is given to us as 2. So VO divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. And therefore, VO is equal to negative 4. Right? So now plugging in this negative 4, which you just found, we're going to have zero, uh, i is equal to 0, subtract minus 4 divided by 20k, which is the same as 4 divided by 20k, and that 1, 5k, so which is equal to 1 divided by 5k. And punching that into your calculator, you are going to get i is equal to 200 microamperes.